Rob here, hello. I always have students ask me where I'm from. Well, I'm from Hull in the northeast of England. I'm back home for a couple of weeks and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to show you around the place a little bit. Unfortunately, it's throwing it down with rain, but never mind. Here we are, we're right in the very center of Hull. We're gonna begin over here on the right. The Ferrens Art Gallery. First opened in 1927, it's got a mixture of permanent and temporary collections. It's just been reopened after a multi-million pound refurbishment to prepare it for the 2017 City of Culture celebrations. Now we're gonna step a bit further over to the right. This beautiful old building behind me is Hull's old dock offices, which is now our maritime museum. This place tells the, the history of, of Hull's fishing industry. All these places can be found right next to each other here in Hull's Queen Victoria Square. Let's go take a walk and see what else we can find. From here we're going to take a right at H. Samuel and head along the marina. This is Hull Marina. The marina area is where the wealthy come to park their pleasure boats. Although the rest of us, if we come around here a little bit, there's an area a bit further up where we can go and enjoy a pint of beer in the summer along the riverside when the weather's a bit better. Head a little bit further down the marina and eventually you'll get to Humber Street. This up and coming area of the city is a good place to start if you're looking for nightlife as it holds a bunch of restaurants, galleries and even a music venue. Once a year it holds the Humber Street Sesh where you can come to catch up and coming local artists on the music scene. Now we're on the waterfront, oh, taking in some fresh sea air but we're actually heading over here. A bit further down the Humber Estuary we've got the deep. This is Hull's, uh, well, Apparently the world's only submarium, which basically means it's like a, like an underground aquarium. It's got over 3,500 animals. This is where we come when we want to see penguins, sharks, octopus, and it's a lot of fun inside. Uh, they, they also carry out marine research, so I wonder what's going on in there. So that's everything along the marina. What's next? Uh, Wilberforce House. This is the birthplace of William Wilberforce. William Wilberforce, Hull's most famous politician, was born on the 24th of August, 1759. He was involved for 20 years in the, in the fight for the abolition of slavery until it was finally abolished in 1807 with the Slave Trade Act. From here, we're heading over to the St. Stephen's and then we're gonna go to the KC Stadium. This place is the St. Stephen's Shopping Center. This is where the people of Hull and the surrounding cities come to take advantage of the wide selection of shops, the leisure facilities. It's also just next to the whole Paragon Interchange, the city's train station, which is where we're going now for our next stop, the, the football stadium. This place you see behind me is the KC Stadium, which since 2002 has been home to the city's football team, the Hull City Tigers, so-called because of their black and orange kit, We're currently playing in the Championship League. The stadium also holds concerts sometimes, and in recent years we've seen English rock legends The Who and Elton John have concerts here. And we're back on the bus. I can't believe it's still raining. Anyway, this is the last stop on the tour. It'll be worth it. The last stop on the tour is the Humber Bridge. Everybody in Hull absolutely loves this bridge. It connects the north bank of the Humber Estuary to the south of England. It took £98 million and nine years to build until it was opened by Her Majesty the Queen on the 17th of July 1981. It's 2,220 metres long, 28.5 metres wide, and the towers are 155.5 metres tall. It was the longest single span suspension bridge in the world for 17 years until 1998 when it was overtaken by the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge in Japan. But it's still the longest one that you can cross on foot. And I'm sure you'll agree, it's a spectacular sight even on a day like today. So that's all I've got time for right now. That's not everything that there is to see in Hull, but those are certainly the most iconic things.
From here, I'm heading down to London for the Summer in the City YouTube event. So watch out for another video soon where I'll show you around some of the most important things, some of the sights that you must see while you're down in London. I want you to have as much fun as possible becoming fluent and confident in English. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and then I can send you updates every time I upload a new video. Better go get on my train.